Welcome to Trumbull Industries' new series of installation animations. This one is our valve position indicator for a buried service valve with a one-piece round stanchion stem with field cutting and calibration instructions. With both valve and valve position indicator in the fully closed position, install the round extension stem onto the 2-inch operating nut of the valve. Place the cast iron housing adapter over the extension stem and into the valve box top section. Then, making sure that the top of the housing adapter is flush with the final grade, use a straight edge to mark the final grade line on the extension stem. Slide the position indicator onto the stem and into the housing adapter. Make sure that the flats on the position indicator and housing shoulder flats are properly aligned. Mark the stem at the top of the drive hub and cross mark at the pilot hole in the drive hub. This will be your drill and pin alignment mark for the position indicator. Remove the position indicator, housing adapter, and the now marked extension stem. Measure three and a quarter inch below the grade line and mark. This new mark is your cut line. Cut the extension stem at the cut line and deburr any sharp edges. Slide the position indicator on the extension stem and align the end of the drive hub and pilot hole with the drill and pin mark. Using the pilot hole in the position indicator drive hub, drill through the extension stem and position indicator drive hub to accept a 5 16 inch removable pin. Next, place the 2-inch operating nut on the extension stem and using the pilot hole, drill through the stem to accept a 5 16 inch removable pin. Remove the 2-inch nut and position indicator from the stem. Slide the cast iron housing adapter onto the stem. Now slide the valve position indicator back onto the stem and install the removable pin into the drilled holes. Next, place the 2-inch operating nut back onto the stem and install the removable pin. Place the cut-to-length extension stem assembly back into the valve box, making sure that it is properly mounted on the operating nut of the valve. Next, ensure that the cast iron housing is properly seated in the valve box. Seat the position indicator in the housing adapter. Make sure the two flats on the position indicator are captured between the two matching shoulder flats in the housing adapter. This is to prevent the position indicator base from rotating while operating the valve. To calibrate the position indicator, first fully open the valve. Note the red indicator arrow now points to the number of turns required to open this valve. Next, loosen the three screws and rotate the open mark on the indicator plate until it aligns with the red indicator arrow and tighten the three set screws. Now fully close the valve. The red indicator arrow should now align with the closed mark on the indicator. If it does, you have correctly calibrated your valve and valve position indicator assembly. To complete the installation, install the optional Trumbull debris shield designed to keep dirt and debris out of the valve box and to keep the indicator legible. Then finally, place the valve box lid in the cast iron housing adapter. Congratulations! Your valve position indicator assembly is now ready to operate. Your operators will now be able to accurately determine the position of this valve at all times.